Okay. Okay, okay. So I said, like, are we a lab rat? Because here's the thing. We are marked. We, they, were, they called us a marker. On the screen, there were one, two, three. Oh. Okay. So possible looks like, oh, this is a safe house, meaning someone else is going to be here. Uh, we had five. I sure a thud. No, there were five people. Two of them were orange. I'm thinking th those two are the dead ones. That means that there's us, O'Neal, Valentino, and the other two people from OBS are alive. But there's also Gray, and I don't know them. So in that cutscene way earlier, in the beginning of this, or you know, I think of the last video, I want to know what's going on now. Oh, are we going to see someone here that we have to save? been here was gathering data on us. Don't move. You're Mobius, right? I... Shut up! <coughs> Don't say a word. You're not one of us. No, I'm not. Kidman sent me. Look, I'm here to help, okay? My name is Sebastian Castellanos. You're lying. Sebastian Castellanos is dead. What? No. Who told you that? Turn around. Do it slow. You're Yukiko Hoffman. How do you know my name? I told you. They sent me in here to find my daughter Lily. The core. I'm telling you the truth. I know. You do? Lack of micro expressions and deflection. No verbal parity. I've seen enough to know you're telling the truth. Right. The team psychologist. <laughs> have to use whatever tools I have to survive. Combat isn't my forte. Seems to be a running theme here. Sorry for pointing my gun at you. So they're sending independent contractors now? That means things aren't improving. Have you found any other team members? I have, but the only one I've found alive is O'Neill. He and Liz alive? Good. Have you made any progress on stabilization? The big emitter's back on. But this place is still falling apart, and I think it's all because of this psycho that kidnapped Lily. He's running loose in Union, and can manipulate this place at will. That means my theory is correct. This is more than a core disconnect. We doctors don't like to use the term psycho in pejorative terms. But in this case, it's apropos. Only a clinically diagnosed psychopath could affect STEM like this. A psychopathic personality type using Lily to amplify his power. This is the worst possible situation. You're a shrink. Any suggestions on how to defeat him? Psychopaths are antisocial, lack empathy, and exhibit sadistic tendencies. But their main commonality is their pathologic egocentricity. They don't care about people, only themselves. Can you think of anything that would be important to him? Yeah. He thinks he's some sort of artist. It's all he talks about. Then maybe the best way to attack him would be through his art. Destroying something valuable to him could knock him off of his guard. I'll keep that in mind. But I've got to get to him first. He holed himself up in the theater. Right. So exit B5 then. It's right here. Just in the next room. Let's pair up communicators so that we can stay in touch. I'll review my files and see if I can't dig up any more information about what's going on. I still feel like there's more to this. Regardless, he's probably going to be difficult to fight. Feel free to help yourself to anything here you might need. I have to be honest, and I am going to be very blunt. Probably a great voice actor or actress, okay? It's just 
the way the character's coming across is just so bland and so flat. And also the anime, the model, like the hair is going right through the face. So does Lily really think I'm dead? Or was that just a part of your lie detecting test? Sorry to break it to you, but she does. I thought it was the truth too, until just now. But over the years, I've learned to take everything Mobius tells me with a pinch of salt. It wasn't difficult to see you were telling the truth. Why would they do that? What kind of monsters do you work for? I know it's not right. But consider this. Lily is probably less traumatized by thinking you're dead than by thinking you're alive, which can't be with you. Yeah, maybe. But what will happen when I finally find her? Don't worry. She'll believe the evidence of her eyes once she sees you. So... I'm not sure if that's a great thing, right? If we take out Valentino and Lily has a ner has a complete and utter mental breakdown. Okay. Cuz here's the thing, right? Is if Lily is the core, we don't we haven't seen a body, okay? So, we don't know if mentally she what age she is. We just know that we saw a little kid running around. So mentally it could still be a child. But Lily died, or supposedly died, a, a while, I thought, before Evil Within 1. So, and then it's been, I think they said, two years? Two or three years? Between this game and Evil Within 1? So, she should have grown up, even, like, mentally, I'm not sure, but, like, something's not right here. And I'm just, I'm just putting my critique out there because I just feel like... Something's not right. And because we can only see one side, we only have one side. Unless Lily's mental part component in here is a child. Like, Ruvik, Ruvik was a lot of things. Same with the Administrator. Like, the Administrator changed his form. If Mobius knew to keep mm -hmm. Cycle Pass out of STEM, then how did one end up in here? I don't know. Every individual in STEM was subjected to a battery of psychological exams prior to critical. And we've been observing them from here, in secret, to keep an eye out for mental instability. Yeah, well that didn't work. Unfortunately, psychopathy and sociopathy are incredibly difficult to diagnose correctly. Psychopaths tend to be cunning and highly intelligent. Aware of their own diagnosis, they're able to disguise themselves among us. The fact that this one was able to fool us, he's obviously adroit and self-aware. Disturbingly so. Great. So the test only filtered out the weakest of psychos. I feel terribly responsible for all of this. I helped devise those tests. You did. Well, so I can blame you for everything. Yay. You said you think there's something more to this? I studied the Beacon incident extensively so that we could avoid another disaster like that. In that case, the person in question was the core. But even then, the environment remained relatively intact. Something just doesn't seem right here. What do you mean? The creatures in here. The dissolution of Union. The total breakdown of communication with Mobius. It just seems like a lot for one person. But we missed the power of the core. You mentioned someone before. Another person who wanted the core's power. I could mean... No. It's too horrible to contemplate. What? There's only one thing that could be more powerful than a oh, person no. here. But I need to do some research before I can commit to the theory. Do you know what would be more powerful than a psychopath in here? Ruvik. The guy who built the STEM system in the first place knows its ins and outs and would freely have the ability to manipulate and power up someone like Valentino. Looks like we might have Ruvik back, my friends. Or someone like Ruvik. Because you have to... Because she said, like... You have to have someone... Okay, we're following that. You have to have someone... Who... I'm trying to think here, because it's like... The only person that could power up Stefano... To the to the powerhouse he is now. And have a monster that... Or have all, create all these monsters... Would be if the core was displaced. Remember, they preserved the core... In Evil Within 1, we may have, we thought we destroyed it to wake up. But at the same time, Kinman was taking down the Administrator. 
uh, or at least her version of the administrator, which essentially shut down the system, right? Because she woke up from that. Well, Sebastian took down the, the main antagonist, the main responsible person behind everything. All I can think of is Ruvik, because Ruvik's the only personality here that we ha isn't at play. And if she said she studied Beacon extensively, then wouldn't that mean that the only possible personality that could destroy everything and want the core's power and then use the power to increase their own and then everybody else's power using the core as a new core as an amplifier. Just thinking about it, the only person is our good friend Rubik. Now I understand that this whole that whole theory is possibly unfounded. But the only other person who would want the core's power for themselves is possibly if the dark version of the administrator is in here. Which I, I'm doubting. I don't feel like... An alternative version of the administrator. Unless the system is trying to break itself. Hmm. There's a resonance point. Where is it? Right outside the safe house. Okay, we'll take all this stuff bolts. I've used them before. Very nice bolts. The other thing is, I think we might be dealing with, um... No, we're not going in there. But I feel like the one boss I know that we probably are going to be dealing with is Obscura. If we're going to the theater, I feel as if... <coughs> sorry. I feel as if we're going to be facing off against Obscura... And we're facing off against Obscura again. The ch possibility of us having to deal with another... I feel like... I honestly feel like once we get to, we do this, Valentino's going to be out of the picture. Because he said someone else. Valentino's not... I don't think he's the villain. I, I can't. Is this not going to let me? It's not letting me equip my communicator. I think I have to go outside. Then I might be able to come back in. But the game wants me to continue. Alright. The theater. I'll be coming for you. Yeah. The game wants, is forcibly trying to make me continue. I can't equip it. God. Whatever. The game is forcibly tr making me continue, so I'm going to. Can't, I can't even unequip the point. But there's a safe house down here, meaning this area is big as well. And the theater's right, right, just up ahead. I do see that that eye. Oh, gunpowder. I'm gonna be honest. The this game, its visuals are gorgeous. Um, cause I I just have to, right? It's like that image on its own is beautiful. And if you know what Veritas means, Veritas in where's that Pravda? I think it's Veritas. Uh, one means one thing, one means something else. So, Veritas translates uh, to from Latin to the word truth. And if we're going straight here... Oh, are we going to light these on fire? Because one's angel of darkness, one's angel of light. The hell are these things about? Light them on fire, Sebastian. Oh no, do I have to fight them? 
Oh no. Uh, do I have to? Alright, son. Time to put Hoffman's theory to the test. Huh. Oh. It's chapter seven. Meaning, I think we might be facing. See, I thought that from all the art that I've. Seen oh. Of all the art that I've seen of this game. Crap. Yeah, all the art that I've seen of this game, Obscura is on a stage. So all I can think of is we're gonna have to deal with Obscura on a stage. Frick. Snip, stop it, stop it, bad boy. Bad boy. You've been a naughty child. So, we have to go down the road, but it doesn't want me to go down the road. So, I, uh, yeah. I like that there is a commercial district, though, that adds to the elements of this game. I, one thing, I, I have to be honest, I do like how it's all, like, the whole game is split up among different areas. Wait for me. Sounds like someone's in trouble. Oh. Wait a second. Safe house. Did we just find another guy? <laughs> Friendo. I'm here to help. I'm here to assist. Oh! Hey, are you over there? I know who this is. This is our good friend, the uh, the, the other guy. Hi, buddy. You okay? Oh, more. I think I have enough ammo. I think I have enough ammo, like, as long as... Fuck. Screwed up my aim. There we go. Bye, buddy. If this is if this is just a world event, then come on. But he looks like the he looks like the other operative that we would have had to deal with. You just saved my ass. I didn't think anyone would come. You're from the search team. How did you end up here? I was looking for something. And what would that be? Look, it's dangerous out here. Come to my safe house so we can talk. Lead the way. Uh, we'll just go with him because I, it's not that I trust him, but he said search team, meaning I'm assuming 
The only thing I can think of is it's who I think it might be. Just he, he was on the search team. But then, I don't know. This game is throwing me some very dark things. But it is a safe house. Oh no, it's Sykes. Thanks again for helping me out. I'm Sykes. Sebastian Castellanos. Castellanos, huh? I've heard of you. You survived the Beacon incident, right? How do you know that? I'm a STEM programmer, but I've got other skills too, like hacking information systems. I know all kinds of things that nobody else knows, not even other members of the team. Then you know who Lily is. Yeah. But we're all trying to find her. Haven't had any luck though. That's why you're here. That's right. But if you can't help me with that, then we've got nothing else to discuss. Good luck. Hey, hold on. We might still be able to help each other out. This is better be good. Look, there's a bunch of stuff in here that you could probably use. And you can have it for saving me out there. You want to hear my proposal? Come on back. I'm going to grab the stuff and then we'll have we're going to we're going to do this. I I understand. I want to know what quests is cuz it's green. And green quests are side quests. Cuz there was rogue signal and now there's this. So, I want to sorry. I want to see what this is. Okay, what is this quest? It doesn't say. Oh, right here. Out in the open. Oh, because I I, I did complete it. If he has a plan, I'm willing to hear it. I was wondering what out in the open was, but it, that's the quest. So. What's this? Server offline. Okay, I guess... If you're willing to give me stuff, I will take whatever you can give me and whatever I can carry. So I guess Sykes, let's talk. All right, I'm all ears. How can we help each other? I need you to restore the server inside the mirror. It should be easy enough as long as none of those freaks are around. Here's where it's located. Hold on, I haven't agreed to anything yet. What's in it for me? You do that for me? I can open up all the locked supply caches for you. And what's in it for you? If you get the server on, I may be able to find another way out of Union. What? But I thought you couldn't get out of Union, otherwise it would pretty much turn you into a vegetable. It would, it's going to kill you. There's really a way to get out of Union? I'm not 100% sure, but I'm sure as hell going to give it a try. They've lost contact with STEM. We're totally cut off. If we don't find the core, we're all going to die in here. Unless I can figure a way out. How is that possible? You really want me to waste your time talking a bunch of technical gibberish? But then the servers are off? All I have to do is turn it on. How did the server go offline in the first place? All I'm saying is if you turn on that server, I can give it a shot. Look at this place. It's breaking apart out there. I'm surprised anything is working. But then again, Mobius probably turned it off themselves. They've got all kinds of emergency protocols in place. And you're questioning the almighty Mobius? Hey. I don't mind being a grunt. The moment I become expendable, well, that's when I start to look for the exit door. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I get what you're saying. I do. So, you gonna help me out or not? Um, getting back online. We will get to that. Um, but I'm not gonna do it just yet. The reason why is because we are here for a reason. Uh, I said speak with Sykes, but we have to go to the Marrow. We are currently in the business district. We have the city hall, and we have residential, whatever. Until I... W <sighs> Let me think about this. So, this is... Post Plus. So, we are here. This is, this is where the big giant monster guy was. So, it's over here we can get to. But there's a lot of parts of the Marrow that we don't have access to yet. And I kind of want to take out Stefano before we make any big changes or big moves, right? Because a side quest like this, we're going to... I'm not going to the Marrow just for a side quest. Um, but we will have to go to the Marrow anyway.
And if we have to go to the marrow anyway, I thinking no. My th thought process is, let's go when we actually have to, right? There's another disturbance thingy. What? Oh, that's what you are. Okay. I will waste all my ammo on you, you frickin' bitch. Frick. Crap. expect that to come out of that. Is that residential over there? I thought we were upside down. Whatever. I just, I thought, here's my thought process, right? As I close this. Um, I thought, when I saw that thud down, I, th my first immediately assumption, my first assumption, which uh, shouldn't have been the first assumption, was, oh, we're not going to have to deal with that. Oh, I was wrong. I was so wrong. Like, jeez. Okay. It just oozes. Oh, that's so freaking gross. Gross. And I'm assuming the signal's in the hotel. Yeah. Sanctuary hotel. <sighs> Not my sanctuary.